welcome everyone to what we're thinking my name is jacob and i am joined by casey and mason guys fourth of july was tuesday you guys have a pretty eventful fourth of july Did you kind of just hang out no mason you're shaking no, your head. No, no, this this was, this was a weird i think it was like the I, weirdest fourth of july ever man so uh, i 100 percent agree it's on a it, tuesday how do you get yeah. turn or how do you have fun on a tuesday <sighs> I, I always hate when that happens, which it happened. Was it last year? But we actually celebrated a couple the, days before. On yeah, the, on the Saturday. Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. Um, and then unfortunately, um, you know, Josh's pool got kind of tore up from the storm in early May, and then he didn't get a chance to get his new one put up. And then he got called out about for storms for the last six days. So yeah, it's like, for a while. that's what we've been doing for the last, you know, handful of years. It's you know, great. They have a big yard, play wiffle ball, yard game, stuff like that. Have a huge feast. Yeah. And so it's like, once we knew that we couldn't have anything there, I'm just like, okay, like what are we going to do? It's like, so yeah. we, we literally sat around the house for to like two or three. And then my sister and her husband had a cookout and the food was great, but it was just so ungodly hot. And it's yeah. like, like they don't have a pool or anything so it's just like let's just sit here in the shed and sweat to death while we eat and then leave but yeah i did get to go so swim weird. Really I, weird. I agree it was uh it was in the middle of the week that's what next year it's gonna be on a wednesday so it's like do you have something the week before or do you have something the week after we should just start planning it now so we actually can do something i mean i saw it fun we uh we had a uh, nice little dinner i got to swim i got some sun you can't tell right now but i did get some sun but uh yeah it's a it's a pretty good time but like you said a lot different because i was actually used to going out whether it be on a saturday or a friday and doing something but uh, yeah um casey nothing uh we did not do a whole lot of anything till like one we went swimming for like two or three hours and then we went to her aunt's to eat and that's about it yeah but i got burnt and i put something <laughs> on and on my back my back did my you reapply covered. after getting the pool no i didn't but <laughs> it's not that like i don't think i'm gonna be like peeling or anything but yeah i also did not reapply but i didn't get burnt too bad um i think the biggest thing though we can all agree on is fourth of july the things that i look most forward to is obviously the food that we have at the fourth of july so idea that actually was thought of by Maddie. She, this is how we wanted to do it. Maddie wanted to do where we all had a cookout and everybody brings their favorite dish. And then we like ranked the dishes that way. We weren't able to get together this year. So we kind of altered that um, to a 4th of July barbecue draft. All right. So um, this will entail one meat, two sides, one dessert, and a drink of your choice. So um, those of you that have listen to us before this is going to be another snake draft we love our drafts here um this has been randomly assigned previously before we got on the podcast here casey you have the honors of going first you can choose any uh thing that you want to first it can be a meat it can be a side maybe you want to go with a drink first um i wouldn't but you know maybe you want to so i'll actually pull up this nice little graphic here that i have so you guys are that are watching on youtube can see <clears throat> we have our little draft board and we have all went to the liberty of researching thinking about our favorite fourth of july dishes so without further ado casey you want to go ahead and start us off here with your first overall pick in this fourth of july barbecue draft so i am known for having very good first overall draft picks <laughs> just saying but uh, I don't think that, that yeah. I, I really don't. I really don't know if I'm going to have a very good first overall draft pick because it, it's hard. It's it, hard to find, to find the, the, the very first one, because I don't think I honestly don't think that um, any of these are going to be taken by you guys, uh, especially with the sides. I don't think will be taken. You'd be surprised. Um, the drink I do. I kind of want to go first with the drink. Oh, wow. I, I was just joking. But I don't. But I, but I don't want to do it. Um, and, and the dessert is kind of funny. Um, but <laughs> I don't, I, don't I know, know exactly what you're going to do. Cause I did the same thing. <laughs> but I have one oh in reserve my gosh. just in case you do it. Uh, I got no, a couple I actually reserves. told, I told Tristan, I had this podcast. I would, I kept it away from you guys. And I'm like, I swear. I said, if we go through this entire draft and one of those two, I said, 
one of those two guys does not take Oreo fluff as a dessert. I said, <laughs> I'm going to blow up on the podcast. I'm going to leave. I'm going to say, I'm out. Never and that's, it again. that crossed my mind too. I'm like, like, well, I was thinking about just not picking it. I'm like, we should just yeah, not pick it at all. Yeah, like messaging, like, let's about, just not pick yeah. it. And like be a straight uh, face. Like, what are you talking about, Mason? Like, it's not even that good. Just to get Mason going. That was <laughs> then again, I, um, then again, I always I, thought about being like just absolutely <laughs> stupid and being first like, pick of the draft. First overall pick, I would like to take I really, Oreo fluff for my I re- dessert. I really thought about doing first overall pick Oreo fluff. I oh really thought God. about it. And then I also <laughs> thought about not taking Oreo fluff at all. Uh, yeah, same. Um, yeah. But that was, but unfortunately, that was the very first thing I thought of. Same, so honestly. I'm sorry for that. I but, um, I'm not going to pick it first. Uh, I might save it. The, it it's going to probably be a toss up on who takes it, Jacob or I. Um, but I got something in reserve for that. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and just go my meat first, just get it out of the way. Um, I'm going to go a little bit of a flavored food. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be a brat. Ooh. And I'm going bacon cheddar cheese brat. From Hy-Vee? Yeah. Oh. Bacon cheddar cheese brat. Bacon cheddar brat. Wow, that is a long... To... Yeah, you can just put bacon just cheddar brat. DCB. There we go. It fits. Looks beautiful. Make an acronym. God, it's so but I don't. I, I think it's very. I think it's very hard to be a brat um, at a cookout. <clears> that was hard. that was Tristan. She's like, that would be my first overall pick as a brat. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you got to go flavored. You can't just do a traditional one. You got to have one that's got some some kick to it. Some, I agree. I do some like good flavor. So I, I do like original brats though. Um, oh, man, since you did that, now this is where the strategy comes into play. What do I want to do next here? pull up my list and see what i've got here um i think with mine this is something that uh i think i'm gonna go with the meat as well um those of you that maybe do or don't know my dad smokes a lot of meat all the time so i would be dumb to pass this up and we're just gonna go ahead and go smoke brisket not gonna think about it just gonna go smoke brisket i mean you, I don't think you can really go wrong. I mean, you can't go wrong with it if you're not good at smoking it, but I'm taking my dad's smoked brisket, <clears throat> throw it on a sandwich, eat it on the side, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, See, it's now, delicious, it's tender, it falls apart, melts in your mouth. Yeah, it's, but this, the thing about me about not pick, like I didn't pick something that was smoked because I, I want, like, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I was saying, I guess I thought like something you just throw on the grill and cook. Yeah. Um, but traditional fourth of july yeah. unfortunately but it's all right you know it's fine see that's whatever. something no, i should have played was you sweat you sweat hey you, you sweat you sway to the fan favorite <laughs> whatever well last year yeah, we did have a uh, last year we had year. smoked pork loin, pork loin. and it was yeah, really it was good. good so yeah that's actually i was thinking to say that's actually brisket was number one on my my list for my meats and tristan's like why would you put brisket she's like why would not like you know a burger you know a broad a hot dog you know like that i'm like that is a really good I, point she's like when have you ever just went to a fourth of july and they've had like smoked brisket and honestly the very first fourth of july party i've had that had smoked brisket was literally tuesday um you know brother-in-law smoked some brisket um but it's like, one of those things too it's like great you know you go to a traditional fourth of july and like you said you don't typically see it there so obviously if they have it there you're like oh my goodness like this is a luxury of course right. i'm gonna choose the the brisket over you know some people over a burger or a brat or yeah. a hot dog it's just the preparation but, man it, it takes like 16 hours to cook a good brisket so. exactly yeah he, he probably whoever i mean that brisket was probably really good and he probably got up at like 3 a.m. in the morning yeah my dad did the same thing morning, my dad had set his alarm get up or, like started at the, or he started it the night before yeah and just got up periodically through the night uh, i'm about actually getting very close to cooking a brisket i'm going to be cooking one here in the next couple of weeks probably nice so they're pretty good but yeah that's a great pick that's a great pick um all right mason Absolutely. i figured mason um, may have taken something smoked so i had to i had to take it yeah <laughs> um i'm just gonna put the meat on the back burner um okay. just to be safe like i said obviously you guys can't take uh any more meat so i'm trying to think of in my head uh, i get back to back picks here um so i think um i'm gonna go my uh go a drink first I think you guys know exactly where I'm going to go with this drink. Um, um, I think I'm just going to type it in here. Yeah, go ahead and type in Tito's and Lemonade. Yep, I already, yep, um, you're right. I was in between that and then our summer drink champion of a pineapple high noon. Um, 
it was a toss up. Like I said, I didn't, I wasn't really caring too much about convenience factor here, like, you know, being in the pool or anything like that. So with the Tito's lemonade, so that'll be my first pick. And then I think I'm going to go with a side here. Um, okay. Going back and forth. Um, I know sides. I've got a lot of, I'm very, I'm very peculiar about my sides. It's like you get something with cheese and you don't want to get a second thing with cheese in it. So I've been back and forth on that. <laughs> um, not too yeah. many so I think actually I'm gonna go a little bit unorthodox. Um, I'm trying to think of it's you know, Fourth of July is usually really hot, something kind of like light, uh, that's not gonna take too much, you know, stomach space away from you know, if you want to get an extra helping of meat or something like that, especially if you're eating like a brisket. Um, I'm actually going uh, deviled eggs, deviled eggs, yeah. So I, I'd have a very specific deviled egg of mine. It's my mom's. Uh, it's one of the only deviled eggs I just true. Like I just am obsessed with. It's one of those things where like I literally put four on my plate, but I will also eat two while I'm in line as I'm getting. I'll eat two real quick. You have to. In my mouth and then put an additional, <laughs> you know, four on my plate. So deviled egg is going to be my just a little, a little different. Um, but I think it's a highly underrated side, especially if, as far as cookouts go. Like I said, it's, they're usually chilled, so it's like it's a little bit refreshing. Yeah. Um, as well, so it's not all you're not like like this week. You know, it's ninety some degrees out. You're literally sitting there eating, and you're just sweating while <sighs> eating. I took it's like that. Double eggs, a nice little. Oh, that, that makes me really just kind of take that into consideration here as I'm looking through this because, wow, I'm looking at my list. I'm like, man, that side is so good and. Do you really eat it? I mean, I do eat it when it's really hot out. I think I am going to go with a side as well. And this one's, this one's also a little different. I think this one's kind of um, another unorthodox pick. But um, after we were at uh, Kodo's diaper party and Josh brought this over, I'm like, I cannot get enough of this. And that is Kalora's homemade salsa. I'm oh, going chips and salsa. Pick. It's, I mean, you can get mild, you can have, you know, the hotter, um, you can kind of go back and forth. It's refreshing. It's got tomatoes in it. It's not overly like, um, doesn't set really heavy when you eat it. So yeah. I figured, uh, that, that salsa is, is literally next level. Yeah. And I'm mad that. Um, we didn't break, like, I didn't even, that's one of those things I love chips and salsa, but I hate when I'm going through a line and trying to I get chips. Get yeah. You want to go back and get a bowl exactly. of, of salsa and then a whole entire plate of chips because like then the salsa is slopping around and you no know, leaking into your other sides and stuff like that. But that's a, a really solid pick. Yeah. And it, 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 it has to be, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be Calora's homemade salsa, but she makes some really good homemade salsa. So, <laughs> Really um, good. But yeah, that's going to knock out my first side. Um, Casey, you now have back-to-back picks. Uh, I'm going to go, starting off, I'm going to go with the side um, first two. Um, and this side is my all-time favorite side, and that is County Market Coleslaw. County, you want to put County Market Coleslaw or just Coleslaw? Uh, you could just put Coleslaw, but County Market here in Lewiston's Coleslaw is the best Coleslaw I've ever had in my life. Okay. Um, if you've never had it, try it. It's the best coleslaw. It's not the chop find. It's not the chopped up coleslaw. It's like the actual, it's actually like homemade coleslaw. And it is, it's the best. I could eat a whole tub of it. It's, it's amazing. Um, I would probably, I don't know if I would have made it through this draft without picking the coleslaw. Yeah. So, I'll, uh, I'll take your word for that because some of those coleslaws you buy at like places, no, they're just got, like I'm sugary and yeah. gritty and. Just no, I'm very you. peculiar about my coleslaw. Same. Yeah, you got to you got to yeah. try it. If if we ever ha- if I ever have a cookout or if I ever if we ever have a cookout together, I will buy county market coleslaw and I'll bring it because it is it's a, it's the best thing to get. And it's not like super soupy. Like it's like that's that was I was getting ready to bring not, it. Up. It's not it's not really soupy. It's just like you take your fork and you stick your fork inside of it and it's like eating salad. Oh, see, mm-hmm. that's like, what, what I love. Yeah, <clears throat> it's good. Yeah, and you put it on you put it on your paper plate. It gets all soggy and there's just yeah, like all no. that. No, nope. like all the soupiness runs and everything. Yeah, nothing nope. beats like homemade, whether it be coleslaw salsa. But I mean, if that tastes like it's homemade, then I mean, it's it is it's good. Be it good. is good. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm going with the dessert. <laughs> I'm doing it. You're I'm taking, you're taking it. it. 
you doing I'm it now? It. Uh, I'm taking it right now, and I'm taking Oreo fluff as my dessert. It's light. Um, it's airy. It's, it's good. I mean, and you got to get. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, you got to get it when you first go through the line because if you wait until it's gone, it's uh, out the sun. You, no, no, stop. <laughs> if you wait, if you wait, <laughs> if you wait until act until you get actually done eating your food to go up there and get it, it's gonna be gone because oh. it's the best dessert. Everyone's gonna have it, and it's gonna be gone by the time you eat it. By the time you can get up there and eat it, so. Um, oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't care what the peanut gallery says. Oreo fluff's the best dessert to get um, at any any type of sit down, whatever deal you're going to be at. Oreo fluff is Ugh. the way to go. So um, um, taking that dessert, so Jake couldn't take it. Yeah, part of me is glad you didn't take it because I actually thought of a dessert <laughs> that we didn't have on our list, and it made me really upset we didn't have it. And I don't think you guys are going to pick it, so I'm going to save that for later. And I'm going to go back to the sides and last time i was going refreshing um now i'm gonna i'm gonna pander a little bit just because jack's not here to do it so i've got to someone's got to do it um and we're going buffalo chicken dip as my my other side and you're going so you're going to you're going two salsas pretty much or two two salsas dip, two dips dip. well yeah you're doing, you're doing two dips yeah absolutely oh man where's all your room on your plate at you gotta have like six plates yeah yeah it's okay. You no, know, teach their own. It's okay. You know, <clears throat> whatever you know. I, I mean, <laughs> but it, it's like it's the same thing with buffalo chicken dip. Like, I mean, and and Jake, you know this. I, I'm very confident in it. I think I make one of the best buffalo chicken dips. It's good around, and I just hate. I've had so many times where I'm like, Man, this buffalo chicken dip tastes funky. It's the people who go cheap and lazy, and they make it with a canned chicken. Don't get the rotisserie. And I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I literally either I will either go to County Market, one yep. of the savory rotisserie chickens, or I will literally season chicken breast myself. Yeah, that's what I do. Make it, or cook it. I put it in shred it in crock myself. pot. I put it in the yeah. crock pot. Yeah. You can tell. You can put tell. Low when it's eight, canned low eight hours. Sure. Shred it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. Um, so good. I'm not a very. I'm not a very. I'm not a spicy guy, but buffalo chicken dip is is very good. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. You know, but I, I'm thinking of it this way. You know, if I'm going through the line, I'm already going to have a handful of chips. You got to get the buffalo chicken dip and the salsa. Have them both on the side there. You can dip it in both. I'm not going back up there again and again. I mean, I had a lot of other things for my sides too, but um, we'll do some honorable mentions at the end. I might be kicking myself yeah. for not picking this, but um, it's all right. I, I still think it's a, I think it's a solid pick. You got you to gotta be confident in your pick. You got to sell it, man. I am. It. Yeah. I um, I went more uh, with all my picks. I went with like a like a traditional not just like 4th of July, but just like traditional like cookout, you know, you're getting together, you know, you're, you got the grill fired up. Um, I will say my, my meat that I'm going to pick is, it is, uh, it is smoked. So I can't really say that's a real traditional outside of, you know, the brats, hot dogs, and hamburgers. Um, sure it is. I'm going to go with a, um, another side. Um, I'm going with, um, cheesy potatoes. Oh, oh man. Yep. Um, and then there, I'm trying to go back and forth. Obviously, I don't have to specify here, but I would like to have a. I mean, I don't know if Casey likes cheesy potatoes or not. Um, but I've always wanted to have the, like the debate, like a small debate of what you guys prefer, whether it be the cubed um, potatoes or like the like the hash brown style potatoes for your cheesy potatoes. Neither. What I like the uh, not the cubed. I like the actual like sliced oh like, what aren't those uh, sliced what, isn't uh, that specific thing? gosh dang it yes uh, gratin. i think you're right i uh, potatoes yeah i like the sliced like okay. in the circles like just sliced cheese potatoes with cheese I, I like it that way um but if i but if i do have to pick it's definitely i don't know um because oh yeah you're right all gra gratin potatoes you're right <laughs> Courtney's family does a lot of cheesy potatoes and they do it with like frosted flakes and flakes and stuff like that. And oh, like, that's really good too. It is good. And I'm, um, I'm big on texture. And that's so, what, like, my mom just puts a little extra cheese on top and then we'll bake it until that gets a little crunchy. Yep. And that's the crunch that I like. But I have had some with like people either put frosted flakes or corn flakes yeah. Uh, yeah. or something. I tell you right now, the one thing that makes me upset is <laughs> when you go in and eat a cheesy potatoes. And there's always someone that sneaks the you no. Know, we'll put corn in it. 
Mm, well, no. your cheese and potatoes. I'm like, yeah. can't, do it it. Out. can't do it. Can't do it. That's a great. That's a great. Cheese and potatoes is a great pick. <clears throat> um, yeah. that is so a good pick. And you talked about cubes or like the hash browns, or whatever. Um, I like. It really depends because I like the hash brown texture. I like the cubes if they're cut by hand. If they're the cubes out of the bag, I'm indifferent about it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know why, but I like the. I mean, I realize it takes a lot longer. I know someone put a lot of hard work if they're sitting there cutting those potatoes that that fine to put in a. You're gonna taste that in the, exactly. in the cheese. Exactly. Yeah. I, I will. I will. I'll taste the love, all the effort they put into it, blood, sweat, and tears. But uh, <laughs> hopefully, not, hopefully not. But um, oh. yeah, that that is a good pick. All right, and then um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, do my dessert. I went back and forth with this one though, because um, I try not to let convenience, uh, like a convenience factor. We we're I think we do a not a bad job. I think we we let con- sway a lot of our picks. I agree um, with a lot of stuff. Um, and so at first I was like, man, I I don't want to pick that. I want something like it could be like I can hold in my hands and eat because you know you're usually up and or, no, up and going with with fourth of july um festivities stuff like that but i decided to go with uh i think like the all-american dessert for fourth of july would be like apple pie mm-hmm. yeah um but i'm I'm sorry like I'm, I'm gonna go back to um like i said it's the funniest thing ever because i absolutely despise apples i can't eat oh boy here we go plain I love at all. Yeah. <laughs> but if you get i'm not kidding i don't know what it is but <laughs> apples and an apple crisp there we go yeah uh, it's it's all time and like i said i'm not talking like oh an apple crisp that someone showed up and you know, they brought it and it's you know sat um sat inside for a while and it's not hot anymore no it's like oh hey we 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 finished baking it in the oven when we got to this cookout uh, oh yeah by yeah. the way hop in the freezer there's some you no know, we'll just say we use briars as an example some you know vanilla ice cream um maybe a little caramel sauce uh Apple crisp, a couple Keep scoops of ice cream, little little Keep caramel talking. drizzle on it. Keep talking. See you later. <laughs> that sounds That's phenomenal. So it, it, I, I think it's kind of funny. So Jake's going with like the dip, everything's dip, and Mason's going with casserole type <laughs> type things. Yeah, yeah. We're we're all uh, <laughs> we all know what we like. That's for sure. Um, but that is a good pick. I do like that pick a lot. That's a great, that's a great pick um, too. And I'm actually going to go dessert as well here. So this dessert is one that we did not have on our list, uh, but I think my mom made it last year. I think it was last year, maybe two years ago. I don't remember, but she makes it all the time at home anyway. Um, and maybe you guys have had it, maybe you haven't. And that is a blueberry crumb cake. I don't know if you yeah, have that or it's, not. It's, it's good. It's, it's I mean, it's, it's, so it's not a super thick cake. Hers are, is a little bit like a little thinner. Um, and then you've it's got kind of like a coffee cake consistency. Exactly. Like a coffee With cake like consistency. Yep. And then you get like oh. the different, like you're going to get you might have one bite, you know, and get a little bit of blueberry. The next bite might be a lot of blueberry. It's kind of spread out in there. Um, I just, I think it's, uh, an extremely underrated, um, dessert and I'm really upset we did not have it on on our list the other night because i would have ranked that actually really high casey have you had this at all by any chance no Mm -mm. um someone actually made it at the the fourth of july party that we were at at my sister's really the only only blueberry thing that i can eat is a blueberry muffin really so i don't know if like a cake would be any different it it, it, it tastes honestly very similar to a blueberry muffin but even had like a coffee cake excuse me coffee cake that has like the like the brown sugar, like cinnamon, yeah, like yeah, on yep, yep, yeah. Just like the okay. picture of a blueberry muffin with, yeah, a light um, blueberry muffin with that topping on yeah. it. Yeah, and most of the time, because like I said, it's a very thin crust, like very. I don't know how to explain it. Like a thin layer on the bottom, and then you've got like your filling stuff, and then you've got like more cake, and then you've got your crumbles, right. crumbles on top. And if you want to put frosting on yeah. it, you can. Um, you know, if you ever had coffee cake, they usually drizzle the frosting on top. I don't, but um, yes, that is going to be my my dessert pick here. So, Casey, we with my three of us, two. with three of us, we are just flying through this draft. So I got my last two here. Um, I'm kind of man. Mason talked about potatoes, and it kind of makes me want to sway towards my, my this last pick, but I don't want to do it. 
<laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to stick with I'm just going to stick with my five that I have um, that I started with, um, and I'm going to start it off by doing my drink, and then I'm going to save the last my side. So drink. It's the summertime. We're talking Fourth of July. Got to go shock top. Got to go shock top. <laughs> of course. Uh, Got to go shock top. I was it was a toss up between a Bud Light orange and a shock top. Um, I didn't I didn't know uh, because I honestly like them both about the same. But I feel like a shock top is the only time I'll the only time I really drink one is in the summer. I don't know if they're are they out all the time or are they just in the summer? I think they're out all the time. Okay. Well, I'm going shock top. It's I mean, it didn't get like in the number one for our uh our drink our our summer drink. Didn't it get like the number one? Uh yes, it did. Number one seed. It it didn't win, but yes, it got number one. But it got the number one seed. So yes, correct. um I'm going. I'm. I'm going shock top with a drink, um, and my side is actually a no. Is is a pretty traditional side, um, and I'm going grilled corn on the cob. Ooh, I think I've only had that a handful of times, but it is good. The charriness I'm on going, it. Yeah, I'm going grilled corn on the cob. I like it. One. Ooh. So that's yeah, my five. That's, that's really good. That's a great pick. That is good. Yeah. I haven't had it enough uh, yeah. to have been able to pick it, but I do like that pick a lot. Um, all right. So now it is on to my drink, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we've all picked a drink, right? Yeah, yes, we have. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this was a toss-up for me um, as I was going through here because I'm like, do I want to really lo- do I want to pick something that's kind of out there and different, or do I want to pick something that I'm more comfortable with and that I know? Do you guys, if you remember <clears throat> Mason last year, um, Chlor, I, I made this like it was like a spiked punch she had. It was like a uh-huh. red, white, and blue yeah. spiked punch. And I have this on my list here, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, it was really good, but a lot of those punches have soda in them, and I'm just not a fan of soda. So I've got to stay true to myself. And yeah, I've cool just <laughs> see. I, I'm not. I'm actually not picking Michelob Ultra. What? I'm going a uh, margarita on the rocks for for okay. my for my pick here. I just think it's. I can't believe it. I know it's a little bit more refreshing. Um, you know, I don't, I'm in a tequila kind of mood tonight. I, I I guess that just might be what it is. But uh, I know I I really contemplated. I did have Michelob Michelob Ultra on my list as well. But I'm like, you know what? Everybody's expecting it. It's the last pick. Let's make it something a little bit different here. So, um. We're going to go margarita on the rocks just mainly because of the versatility of a margarita. Um, like I said, you can do it on the rocks. You can do it frozen. Uh, you can have blueberry, strawberry. <clears throat> you know, I mean, the list goes on and on. So I feel like it's very versatile. We're going to go ahead and stick with that pick. I like and it. I like it. Mason, we are now on to your final pick. Yeah, so I uh, saved meat for last, obviously, since you guys took it first two picks. Um, and actually, since we've been doing this, I kind of went back and forth. Um, but I'm going to stay true to what I had as, as my as my second, uh, well, I guess as my very first backup um, behind the brisket. And I'm going, um, I'm going ribs. Ah, oh, yep, that's good. Is it smoked ribs or is it just? Yeah, I do. I do like smoked ribs. Um, it's, it's weird. I ribs. It's got to be. Yeah. So, we, like we always discuss, like when we're picking something, we all obviously have uh, an experience in mind with a very specific, you know, time we ate that food where it was this all time, you know, is the best we've ever had at that specific time. Um, so my dad always did something completely different. He would smoke his ribs, um, and then he would take them and then um, put them in the oven. And what would I like? You just real low heat in the oven, and it would just almost kind of like I don't know what it would do to him, but I'm not kidding. Like the bones would just literally just the the, mo- the meat would literally just fall off the bone, like in the oven. Wow. And then he would kind of like top it with a little extra, you know, barbecue sauce or something like that. Um, and it was it was awesome. I mean, I know the traditional way of eating ribs, you know, you have a big old slab, yeah, and you're eating them on the bone, like, but these were literally like so tender that like you literally go through the pan, pick the bones off, and you literally just, you know, got a big old chunk of meat, put it on your, your plate, which made it, you know, a lot easier to eat and not as messy, but, yeah. um, 
that's the experience I'm I'm thinking of. And ribs is tough to be. Only thing I almost I almost went with like a just a, a completely decked out like cheeseburger on the grill. Yeah, those are tough to <laughs> those be are time. To yeah, um, but I'm like I'm not I can't let like a convenience factor of like oh hey you, you know you're gonna be completely messy you're gonna need to have to take a bath after you eat them yeah. uh, kind of thing. So and I stuck with ribs. Yeah, you kind of answered my the question I was gonna ask. I know there's some controversy like people love like fall off the bone ribs and there's people, other people that just do not like them at all like do you, do you have a preference i mean i think you just kind of answered the question there like do you like the ribs that fall off the bone or do you actually like eating them off the bone or does it really matter I to you i think there's a lot of like probably a lot of barbecue rib like purists out there they're like very old-fashioned bad they're probably like hey we want the meat sticking to the bone we want to eat it like a corn on the cob you know like a yeah. traditional rib that's just that's all right, but like, no offense. It's just, I, I always hate going. Like, I love ribs, but like, I would never. There's a couple times I get them at a restaurant because they like sounded good, but then after you're sitting there, yeah, and, and you're like messy. you're constantly like using wet naps to you know get to wipe your fingers off just so you can grab your drink without it being covered in barbecue sauce or silverware or stuff like that. So like, once Dad started cooking them that way, I just I'm like, yep, this is this is the way to go. You know, go in there you know, pull the bones out after you, you know, they're smoked and it's literally just, you can literally just go in there with a fork and just eat them. Just, and you can make a sandwich out of that too. I think that's what, like I said, anything that you can actually pick up and put on a sandwich or something, put on a bun. I think it's a game changer. The way he's talking is pretty much like, I don't know. It's pretty much like pulled pork. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think, I think the best pork is, I think the best pork is honestly, uh, fall apart. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tender. I agree. That's, That's the best I... way to have it. Yeah. Um, my dad always cooked it. You know, he always cooked it because he was like that. He liked the on the bone eating them that way, not the traditional. I'm like not the untraditional way of like them falling off. He liked them being stuck on there and yeah. the mm-hmm. toughness of them and being able to eat them that way. But I mean, I'll eat them either way. I I love ribs. Um, I'll eat them either way. But every time that I've actually cooked ribs so far. They have other than the really, really small rack of ribs, like the really small, like with not much meat on them. Yeah. The ones that are really thick, every time I cook them, they all fall off. They always fall off. Even, I mean, I cook them the exact same as everything else, but I think it's just a matter of how thick you are having your ribs. Yeah. Um, if they're really thin, they're probably going to stick on there. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously, you don't get as much meat, but the thicker ones are probably the ones that are going to tend to fall off yeah because it yeah. holds its it holds its heat and it holds its juice more and then yeah. you've got like the whole smoking methods of everything that you can kind of dive into but that's a whole other mm-hmm. rabbit hole but yeah there's some people like i watch a lot of different videos and they smoke their ribs and some people swear but like oh if these fall off the rib they're you know that's it's a no for me i'm like wow i yeah. i think it's great either way oh, uh, i'm so <laughs> i'm so mad that my meat is so tender that yeah. it didn't stick to the bone ah. i honestly didn't realize it was that big of a problem until i started watching more videos yeah. reading comments and you're like wow people really uh are offended they by their, this they their, but, well they take their like like it's i mean i got a smoker so i take it i mean i i look up a lot of stuff on different ways to cook things and yeah try new things and try new sauces and stuff like that but i mean it all boils down to like what your preference is exactly on, yeah, so you're the one you're the one eating it i don't really care what anybody else yeah, thinks right. i'm the one eating it right. so <laughs> yeah. um yeah that's good i think we had a really good list um i'm gonna go through this really quick and then we'll do some honorable mentions so let's go back here to our draft board pull that up <clears throat> and it looks like okay casey you went ahead and you took bacon cheddar brats coleslaw oreo fluff shock top and grilled corn on the cob I took smoked brisket, homemade salsa, chick, buffalo chicken dip, blueberry crumb cake, and a margarita. And then Mason's got Tito's and lemonade, deviled eggs, cheese and potatoes, apple crisp, and smoked ribs. Man, my mouth is watering just reading that off of there. That sounds really good. Yeah. Um, do you guys have any honorable mentions that you think should have been on this list? I know I have a couple. Um, I think they're like obviously the traditional um, 4th of July sides or cookout sides in general are baked beans yeah Ooh, um cowboy I, beans i did so i had those are on so my I list had on <laughs> I my had side, beans. If, if someone if someone somehow took coleslaw or corn on the cob i actually thought like corn mm-hmm. on the cob might have actually been one that got took yeah uh that was taken but not i completely coleslaw. forgot that's a great but pick I had, I had bacon 
uh, baked beans. I like bacon. The, mm-hmm. I like cut up pieces of bacon in my baked beans. And that's in the cowboy so baked had, beans too, isn't it? I had, yeah. yeah. So I had, so my honorable mentions were uh, those baked beans, uh, a butterfly pork chop. Um, <laughs> love good. me some butterfly pork chops. And then my dessert was brownies. My nice. Second. Um, brownies. Yeah, I had for my sides, I had every single 4th of July you go to it's either going to be some sort of pasta salad or macaroni salad like i had that on there pasta salad and macaroni salad <clears throat> um i had potato salad i had tomato salad a lot of different salads um guacamole and then of course we already mentioned the cowboy beans um and then once again for my desserts i had fruit salad and like soft chocolate chip cookies so um <laughs> I don't know what was with me and all these salads, but I mean, traditionally, it seems like every single time you go to 4th of July, you, I mean, there's a spoon in everything that you can dip out, and it's usually always yeah. a salad, it seems like. But. Yeah, Tristan makes a killer <clears throat> pasta salad, and I almost put that. I mean, I almost put down... I'm, I'm not a big pasta salad guy, and yeah. it's, it's phenomenal. I almost put you down broccoli like, salad, uh, too. I love broccoli do you guys salad. Like, oh. do, you guys like, uh, do you guys like fruit salad? Yes, I have that on there, too. So Courtney, I get, I, I don't like like so I don't like bananas. So obviously, like I don't eat it. Um, I don't like a lot of the fruit. Like I don't like grapes, and I don't like bananas. So I don't eat it. But I, I still eat had, fruit. So I feel but you. I have, fruit. But I've had her. I've had her. Uh, uh, fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have had that without those two things in it, and it is very good. So that's one thing too that you're talking about having a spoon and dipping it out. Um, yeah. You, that's that's another one too <clears throat> um mason did you have any more you want to add to that yeah um i couldn't believe that i thought you were going to mention it here um just a simple a good like baked mac and cheese gosh um, i did not have that on mine mac yeah, and cheese. Wow. Um, yeah mac really and cheese. good baked mac and cheese but like some one thing um i hate when i love baked i, I like baked mac and cheese over um over normal uh just like kind of loose oh, yeah. mac and cheese but one thing i people mess up on they, they focus more on the cheese on top with the baked mac and cheese I and then, like those. once you get through that first layer it's just like it's dry. almost kind of yeah dry and kind of tastes like plain noodles and yeah. just yep that's See, not my i go not, it. have to be you go through a, a nice yeah, layer, a layer of yep. baked cheese and then it's just is know. it just I I do panko on mine. I do panko on mine, so I get you're, that crust on I there. Right now, your buffalo chicken mac and cheese. I haven't made it again since. I mean, it was a one time yeah, thing. It, <laughs> it took, it took, what, it took so me forever. Um, uh, it speaking of mac pan. and cheese, yes. speaking of mac and cheese, uh, holy smokes! The people that catered us, they make a killer They're brisket sm- mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh my god! Killer brisket great. mac so and cheese. It, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Their food was all their food. Let's have all their food at the Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> Can you cater our Fourth of July? Um, I guess, like I said, I had a pineapple high noon. Um, and then, like I said, you mentioned it. Just like a, a traditional, just good like chocolate chip cookie, you know, like you mentioned. Yeah. Um, that's 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 really, uh, I, really tough to beat. I specifically had Kylie's in mind. She put so many chocolate chips in them, and they're so soft and chewy. They're so good. <laughs> I think every single yeah. dessert or dessert that I add on here is either like something that you guys or someone in our friend group has brought somewhere that I've tried or that my mom or dad make. Um, yeah. I mean, well, I'm I sure that goes not... for all of us, except for you. You have the county market coleslaw. But... Does does uh, does Kimmy make anything really good? No, Kimmy uh, does not cook <laughs> or bake or you, anything you were setting me up for that one. <laughs> oh man he's in the head just like that he uh, said i mean we could edit that out. i don't yeah. care but he's sitting there mentioning everyone else's like caloris homemade salsa amazing my mom's blueberry cake and then kylie's chocolate chip cookies i'm like where's kimmy's stuff at oh um, <laughs> he goes and he goes uh i don't know i don't yeah. know i don't know if she'll listen to, to 40 minutes in or not hopefully she doesn't so she doesn't hear that part but <laughs> oh, that's great oh man no, shoot. um <laughs> you hope she's not doesn't have her ear at the door right now <laughs> just like listening just bust in and look over at her oh gotta go end of podcast um, uh, that's great uh yeah that was fun though i love i love doing these drafts though just so we can kind of talk about like things like we can relate back to a lot of personal things and experiences of us having these foods so um yeah overall that was a that was a fun draft 
we're closing in here on actually 40 minutes. So this might be one of our shorter podcasts, but you know, I think it was quick. It was to the point. Um, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see what the people think. Hopefully we can get some people interacting on this, um, on this draft. I'll, uh, save it. We'll let people listen to the podcast first. Then Casey can post it on Facebook. You can figure out how to do a Facebook poll again, Casey. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Oh, I can do them. Yep, yeah. I got you. We got three again. of us here. Mason, don't delete your name again. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah butterfingers yeah but uh i think it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for us on this podcast thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch you in the next one